Healthcare is becoming more connected with hospitals, doctors and nurses increasingly reliant on internet connected devices and sensors to monitor patients. But while this can help provide better, more personal treatment, it also carries risks because many medical IoT devices are vulnerable to cyber attacks. I'm Danny Palmer, this is ZDNet Security Update, and joining me to discuss how health is vulnerable to hackers is Kelly Rozumalski, Secure Connected Health Director at Booz Allen. Thanks for joining me, Kelly. So first of all, what's the potential rewards and risks of using connected medical devices in healthcare? Yeah, th thanks, Danny. First, let's start with the benefits. Connected medical devices play such a critical role in inpatient safety today. And the rise of these devices represents significant innovations in inpatient care. They help doctors share information with other healthcare providers. They provide access to cloud computing. They allow for remote maintenance by medical device manufacturers. And they also give us the ability to understand our, our health status through connected apps. For example, there are now brain implants that can actually be monitored and controlled with your smartphone. And with deep brain stimulation, where an electrode is surgically implanted into the brain and connected to a computer, it can then actually provide results that can be read by an external device. So, so these innovations are, are amazing. Also, children can get faster MRIs through real-time processing into the cloud. And parents now have the ability to monitor their child's blood sugar and insulin release on their phones. However, we, we all need to realize that the security of these medical devices is unique and it is especially critical because patients, patients' lives are at stake. Imagine if a connected CT scanner goes down in a ransomware attack. ER doctors immediately lose critical capabilities that they may need to select a course of treatment for a stroke patient. And we've all heard of these types of ransomware attacks where cyber criminals have successfully locked down entire hospital networks. The implications of this, of this happening in a hospital setting are severe. Critical information about the patients instantly becomes unavailable something as simple as, al as an allergy to a medication, a patient's blood type. And in some cases, doctors have had to turn away patients after a, after a ransomware attack. And as we see the healthcare ecosystem becoming more interconnected, the attack surface, of course, increases. And given the type of information that these devices contain, such as, such as patient records, it further emphasizes the fact that the healthcare industry is increasingly fragile and vulnerable to cyber attacks. So you mentioned the proliferation of uh, internet connected devices there. Uh, I mean, why is it that, that these devices are creating additional risks for hospitals and other healthcare organizations? Is it the case that they're almost designed to, you know, for medical purposes? which means that security is sometimes a secondary issue. Yeah, so I, I would say there, there, there's multiple answers to that, but at the, at the end of the day, healthcare is incredibly vulnerable to cyber attacks. And healthcare data is more valuable than, than credit card data on the black market. It includes all of an individual's PII and patients can be used as collateral damage for profit-motivated hackers. And we've all seen them, right? These large-scale attacks on healthcare systems, they can be worth millions. But it's also important to note that it's not just about the theft of medical data. Each vulnerable device could be used as an entry point to a whole hospital system. Not, not only could an attacker change a device's function, deny services, dispense medicine at the wrong time with the wrong dosage, but they could also use the device as a pivot point to the entire hospital network, which could of course have huge ramifications. And when attackers can access the rest of the hospital network, that can cause trouble as well, because 
in a lot of cases, hospital networks are running on Windows and other operating systems, which are older versions, which might not have been patched, which means they're vulnerable to other types of attack as well, which creates all sorts of problems away from just the core uh, medical issues. Yes, definitely. I mean, even, even something that we don't think about as cyber experts today, but an HVAC system, an elevator, all of these things are incredibly critical within a hospital system. So if a hacker gains access to a medical device and uses that as the pivot point into the entire network and some of the items that you just mentioned, but even an elevator, there, there's huge consequences there when we think about patient safety. And patient safety can also be affected away from a hospital and healthcare because as you mentioned, uh, these environments contain a lot of personal data and a lot of that personal data, as you suggested, can be very valuable on the dark web and can be used to cause problems uh, for people away from hostels as well. It, it, if this leaks, people become victims of fraud and other cybercrime. Yes, 100%. Some of these devices and obviously the records within a hospital contain all of an individual's PII. So as soon as a hacker gets access to that, there, there's so much that they're able to do. The other thing that, that's important to know that's, that is scary from a patient safety perspective is as soon as they control um, and get access to these devices, they then have the ability to do things such as shut them down or, like, as I mentioned before, change the dosage of medicine and when it's going to be released. And these are things that we don't realize automatically. And by the time that we do, it could be late, too late for a patient. It's quite unnerving how that those sort of attacks you just mentioned there you know, could interact with physical devices, you know, which are you know, physically attached to patients uh, doing things to help them out could be tampered with. I mean, a few years ago, it would sound like something from science fiction, but it's almost, uh, for want of a better term now, science fact. Definitely. The, the integration of connected sensors, as an example, into what we refer to as the Internet of Medical Things, IOMT, has, has really revolutionized how doctors can monitor the health status of their patients and the need for continued innovation in this area is only increasing. And this is proven by the fact that some hospital systems today have over 350,000 medical devices at one time. And to your point, there are also millions of connected medical devices that are actually maintained by the patients themselves. Also, when we look at the broader digital healthcare market, things such as wearables, 5G, cloud, edge computing, th these are all things that are enabling the market to grow at an extremely fast pace. And all of this has to sit on a foundation of cybersecurity because the fact is as, as these devices become connected, they become much easier to disrupt by cyber criminals. So with all that in mind, what needs to be done to help secure the health sector from cyber attacks and other interference by hacking? Solutions to medical device security really need to cover a combination of people, processes, and technology. Um, one example of a solution, though, is that devices need to be designed with cybersecurity in mind. And security needs to be thought about throughout that whole device lifecycle, from manufacturing to regulatory approval, maintenance, well, deployment, maintenance, and all the way to the end of life. All, and all of this should include rigorous third-party security testing for high-risk devices. So build, integrate, test, and validate the device from a, from a security perspective. Also, medical device visibility is key. And it's more than us just understanding what's on a hospital network. We need to actually know how the devices communicate with other devices the specifics behind how they operate, as well as what are all the different components that make up that medical device. This comprehensive understanding and real-time visibility is critical, especially as new vulnerabilities and threats come to life. 
this visibility gives us the ability to quickly identify if they are relevant to a specific component within a specific medical device, which then allows us to quickly act and mitigate that vulnerability. Thanks for that, Kelly. That's been very useful advice and a very, on a very interesting topic. Uh, thanks for joining me on ZDNet Security Update. And for more on this subject, there's more to read and more to watch on ZDNet. Thank you for watching.